Hey everybody, it's Ryan here from Android Coliseum. I wanted to do a review here on the Alcatel 3V. Now this is a phone that's on Freedom Mobile right now. But it's about the only place I can actually find it. And this runs for about 220 if I remember correctly, outright. So a pretty cheap phone. I hate to use the word cheap. Economical phone um, out there. Um, but let's dive in. $220 can't be that much. Um, so let's, what do you get for that? So obviously right off the top, we see some specs. Here we have a 6.7 inch screen. That's a pretty big screen. An octa-core processor, 60 megapixel camera. Pretty cool, facial recognition. Oh, we got more specs in the back. Um, not a lot of the specs I like to see, like what kind of processor it is. Um, what are the specs on the camera itself? But you know, hey, it, it has some specs on it. That's good. And you open it up and you go, wow, look at this. I put that sticker back on it because I had a thing on it. But there's a sticker on it that has more specs on it. They really want to tell you what kind of specs it has. Pretty neat stuff. All right, let's boot this guy up. On power up. Should we power? Good enough power. I've been playing with it for a while. Let's see. But while I'm doing that, we can take a look at the box. What do you get inside the box? Oh, there we go. Uh, we got a nice big fat charger here, a SIM ejector, manuals, and you got cord. All right. No headphones or adapters or anything like that for the headphones, but that's okay. This does have a standard headphone jack there. I don't know if you can see that. So there we go, there's our standard headphone jack. It uh, has power and volume. It has a fingerprint sensor in the back, two cameras in the back. So that's a 60 megapixel and a five megapixel. And then we have a five in the front. I remember what it was. Yeah, something like that. So it's finally going through some uploads here. So you could use the fingerprint sensor in the back or you can use the thing. So I got a punch in my pin. You guys can't see my pin, but you can just like tap the back and it's already in, I touch tapped it. Or I could recognize my face and it's logged in. So pretty straightforward, easy to use. Um, outside of that, what else does it have? It's a big, huge display. I can't get it all in one look here. It's not got much skin to it. It's very similar to a uh, standard stock Android. Doesn't have a lot to it that we wouldn't already see um, somewhere else without the pixel kind of feel to it. Uh, very similar to like the ZTE uh, devices out there, very bare bones. Some of the things like the gallery is its own sort of little gallery app. And it does have a feature where you can explore through what it sees as people or places or documents or whatever. So you can play around with that kind of stuff. Kind of neat. The camera itself is a straightforward app here. Pretty straightforward. You got a portrait mode, AR emoji. The AR emoji. So interesting that you have five choices here. A panda, a red panda they call it or whatever. A raccoon, or is it a weasel? I don't know. Um, something with pink hair and a dude with big ears. Kind of, oops, that's got back into the camera. Uh, some portrait, auto. Hi, there's me. And there's me again. There's other features that we have there. So light trays would be kind of cool to play around with. The camera itself was mm, meh. There's me in the portrait mode. There's me with that. That wasn't too bad. That's not a bad portrait, you know, photo of me. Uh, not many great photos of me, but it's a little soft than I would have liked. You know, some lens aberration there on the end. It's not great reproduction of color outside of, you know, when it's kind of lower light. Um, so, Nothing you write home about, but nothing terrible either. In terms of other uh, features, it's got pretty much not much skinned. There is their own contacts app. It looks very similar to the stock. And where was the calendar? Oh, well, it's got Google Calendar, looks like. Yeah, so it uses Google Calendar. So really only the gallery and the contacts app are separate. The phone app is its own little thing. And then you got a free mobile there. 
a good little phone. It's it's definitely not a powerhouse. This definitely isn't the fastest phone out there. And you do notice it's a little slower to respond. Even something like that, just a little slower to respond and bring up features. But I mean, for $220, you're not gonna have to worry about a lot. This is not really appealing to the flagship market anyways. Um, one thing interesting I found is really hard to find the actual specs of what this is because this, there used to be an Alcatel 3V, this isn't it though. This is the 2019, I guess, version, but it's hard to find out what this one really is because I really wanted to find out about this thing. Is that an infrared port? I saw nothing in here about infrared. I saw no app in there to have like, you know, that kind of apps or whatever. So I don't know what that is and I can't seem to find specs on it, but it does do well. Let me turn it on again. I would have liked it if it, you know, since you picked it up or you double tap it at the screen, but you gotta hit the power in order for it to start to work. Um, does work, you know, some games, you know, would work just fine on it. Again, just a little slower than something else out there. All right, but you know, pretty responsive. Just not fantastic. Anyways, I have a full write-up on the website. If you have any questions, just shoot away. Thanks.